Hello and welcome to the Report Designer for GeoMedia tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to change or apply data grouping to a report. This tutorial demonstrates how to group a report's data. Note that data grouping can be performed only if a report is bound to a data source. To group records in a report, make sure you do the following. Create a new report and bind it to a data source. In this tutorial, we'll start off with the following report. So in this example, I'm grouping cities by state. Now switch to the Group and Sort panel. If it's not already open, go to the Windows tab and click Group and Sort. Now click Add a Group. In the pop-up list, choose the data member across which the report is to be grouped. For this report, I will choose State Name. That way we group our cities by state. Note that grouping across calculated fields is supported as well. If multiple groups are created, you can specify the priority for each group by selecting it in the Group and Sort panel and using the Move Up and Move Down buttons. After this, a group header band is added to the report, with the specified data member being set as its grouping criterion. Now it's only left to drop the corresponding item from the field list onto this band, so that is displayed as a header for each group. So as you can see here, I've added state name from the field list onto the group header. If required, you can also apply mail merge to this label. In addition, you can also enable the corresponding group footer band. You can do this by checking the show footer option in the group and sort panel. Now that the group footer is now added, I will add a page break so that each state will be sectioned by itself. To manage the sorting order of the group's items, ascending or descending, use the sort order drop down list. So for this example, I'll choose ascending. That way, it'll be in alphabetical order. The report is now ready. Switch to the preview tab to review the result. As you can see here, the cities are now grouped by their state, and when I scroll down, you'll see a page break by the end of that certain state. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. For more tutorials, please visit extengio.com.